All right, so the car is here. I am in Phoenix, Arizona. I live like right behind those buildings over there. So I am home now with the car. I had to wait for over a month for the car to actually be in my garage where I could be driving it. Because as you know from uh, the previous content, I was in Florida, was able to check out the car when I had first bought it, but I was gonna be traveling and that's where I was in Costa Rica and Colombia and a few other places. But now that I'm back home, I've been enjoying the car and it's been a ton, a ton of fun since I've got it. If you've seen the other video that I did on you know exotic cars potentially not being a really bad investment where you lose a bunch of money, um, I was talking about potentially buying a Audi R8 or a McLaren 570S. Obviously, as you see, I didn't end up buying the McLaren or the Audi R8. And part of that is because as I was having conversations with Hunter and with PJ as part of that Exotic Car Hacks program, really the entirety of that program is for you to be able to enjoy exotic and luxury vehicles without losing your butt on them. And that was really my goal because as you guys know, I've talked about this in previous videos, when I had bought my Maserati Gran Turismo that I had before, I loved that car, it was a ton of fun, but I lost freaking 30 grand on that car. And I knew, just, I'm an investor. I don't like losing money. It's not something that I enjoy doing, regardless if it's fun or not. And so I looked into this program and you know this is the first car buying through it and it's going to be one of many cars because I'm really excited about it. I'm going to do the deal breakdown after I sell it because one of you might be the person that buys this car when I go to sell it here in a few months. So I don't wanna show my cards on what I exactly bought it for. Uh, but what I did enjoy about this process was how easy it was because essentially what I did was, I will tell you, I spent $1,900 paying for the car finder service to PJ and Hunter, and that got the process started. I started having conversations with PJ about the Audi R8, and then also about the McLaren 570. And where the market was at this, which is summer of 2021 for both of those vehicles, the market is a little bit inflated on both of those, and unless I was buying a newer 570, which I didn't really wanna spend that much, it was a little over $200,000, I wasn't really wanting to be in that price point just yet. Um, more in the mid 100 range is where I was wanting to be. So decided McLaren isn't something I wanted to do in the R8, there is more of a risk of me losing money so what he was recommending to me is, you know, if I bought the R8, there is probably an, a chance where I could lose, you know, up to 5% of the cost of it over the ownership. And I didn't, you know, I wasn't really as concerned about that. But when he was telling me about some other brands, I just started asking him like, you know, what cars right now are really good buys where I could potentially get into it and break even or be at a very minimal loss on the resale. And one of those cars was the Porsche 911 Turbo S. Um, it being an enthusiast car, that got me excited. Because again, I'm an investor. That's what my channel's about. Real estate and investing and getting good deals and making money. And so I decided it would make sense to you know, enter in buying this Porsche 911 Turbo S because of that reason. And my plan with this car is I bought it with 8,900 miles. I've put about 600 miles on it since I bought it. I'm going to drive it until I get to around 13 to 14,000 miles, um, which will probably be December. So about six months of ownership is what I plan on keeping this car for. And at that point, I'm gonna put it up for sale and be looking at you know selling it um, for probably around a break even at that mileage point, which I would be super stoked about. And I'm gonna continue to document this process on my channel. So you'll get to see, I'll break down the numbers and everything I spent down to the shipping I spent on the car and everything and share with you the pros and cons when I actually sell the car. Um, and once I do sell this, I don't know what I'm gonna get next. Um, I'm going to put on my list Audi R8 if the market's there for those. Um, McLaren, again, if the markets there for those maybe a rolls-royce ghost or a rolls-royce wraith one of those types of cars they're all i really enjoy all of those so really whatever is going to be the best deal so then i could drive another car for another six months have fun with it enjoy it put some miles on it sell it hopefully either profit or be at a very minimal loss um, for that time that i got to enjoy the car so um, I hope you're able to enjoy this video and be able to take a look a little bit more at the Porsche 911 Turbo S. This thing is freaking fast, way faster than I ever expected, and it is a ton of fun.